very old carol for you with a slight twist. It was originally based on a Gregorian chant by monks in the 8th and 9th century, and then it was rewritten as a hymn for Advent in 1851. Each one of the verses starts with the title of the Messiah and speaks of our longing for his coming to rescue us from sin and death. This world is a mess, but he's given us a solution, Jesus. So listen to the words and know that there's a solid reason to rejoice. O come, O come, Emmanuel.
really nice. Yes. And, and it's also good to see the Dutch and the Cambodians and the Irish all getting along. <laughs> kind of an interesting thing because when when uh, Jesus told Mary when she's going to have the kid you'll name his name Jesus and the Old Testament says you will, he will be called Emmanuel and and uh, so it looks like a contradiction you know like which one do you call him but uh, in the Old Testament when it's a prophecy that Jesus is coming and he says his name shall be called Emmanuel it's is God with us Amen. and and Jesus is God and, and and so it was God with us. And and when it says he's coming to Israel, it's important that we all know that that's the Israel of God. That's not the Jewish people. That's right. It's the Israel of God, which everybody who is born again, follower of Jesus Christ, everyone who's put their faith and their trust in Jesus, they are the Israel of God. Amen. That's what the Bible teaches. So don't get confused with uh, ethnicity. It's got nothing to do with that. It's got to do with your heart. So, Amen. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful promise. And in the Old Testament, there's over a thousand prophecies of the Christ, Jesus, coming to earth and becoming a man just like us so that he can die. In our, over a thousand prophecies in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, we see them all answered completely. Stuff that people couldn't make up. In the Old Testament, it says, He shall be born in Bethlehem. Jesus couldn't have planned that. He wasn't born. <laughs> and then when he's born, he's born in Bethlehem. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to see uh, the, the prophecies uh, unfold. Amen. Yeah. So I'm just thrilled. It's, it's, it's Christmas time, and I know I'm going to be giving you this <coughs> gift, but that's what excites me at Christmas time. <laughs> so Gift of Jesus. Oh yes, and about Jesus too. Oh yeah, he's got nervous. Wiped out his drink, but he's not allowed to have a sanctuary. So, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, it was Randy. Randy fell asleep and dropped his canister. <laughs> Man, did I mention it's good to have you all here today? So we're going to, um, oh, oh, by the way, we're at the end of the year. So, so um, those people who give, and, 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 you know, we don't talk about giving much in the fellowship. So this is going to be my big one year talk about giving. Those of you who give, make sure that next week, uh, you, you know that next, next Sunday is the last Sunday that you can give for 2021. So if you're waiting for a tax receipt, if you, if you, if you give us an uh, offering on Monday uh, of next week, you're, you're not getting it. Next Sunday is the last chance to get And And the reason is some people say, well, I don't, I don't give to get a tax receipt. I understand that. So I tell you what, you give to get a tax receipt, and then that 25% that you get back with the tax receipt, you give to me. <laughs> and, and I'll buy a jet. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't hear that. So it's checks in the mail. Oh, oh checks in the mail. As long as it arrives by Sunday. <laughs> so, so that's for 2021. Okay, just so you know, you've been told. Um, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch the children's ministry program this morning. We we weren't gonna do that until tonight, but then uh, some people just come in the morning, and I don't want you to miss this because the the, the kids are. <coughs> They're cute, but they've also got a great story. And they put a lot of work into this program, so we want you all to enjoy it, okay? So we're going to do that. Everybody okay? Yeah. Anyone who wants to leave, get up and leave now. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to turn out this light here. Are we good to go? This yep. is all done.
more verse. Mystery and a wonderful mystery because it, 
if we could explain it, he wouldn't be God, would he? Amen. And because he came to earth and he died for us, he became a human, he became a little baby that cried and, and, and needed his diaper changed. He was 100% human. When he hung on the cross to die for us, he cried out in pain. Well, why would he cry out in pain? Because he was human. He was hungry, he was thirsty, he got tired, he got angry, he was a human. But in all of his humanness, he didn't sin. 33 and a half years he walked on this earth and he didn't sin. He was tempted in every way that we are, but he didn't sin. Because if he had sinned, he couldn't have died for us. He would be the same as us, and it's like me dying for you guys. That's useless. I'm so full of sin, I can't take away your sin. But a sacrifice that has no sin can take away your sin. And so Jesus had to remain sinless so that he could die for us. There's a lot involved with this sacrifice. And, and, and you've got to think about all the... Man, not only did God leave his throne and come to earth and become a human so that he could sacrifice his life for us, but then he had to remain on earth Surrounded by all the pleasures that we're surrounded by, tempted in all the ways that we are, but he had to remain sinless so he could die for us. That's a huge sacrifice. And then he died for us on the cross, and when he took our sin upon himself, God the Father poured his wrath out upon Jesus Christ so that his wrath doesn't have to be poured out on us. Amen. Those who put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are saved from the wrath of God. Amen. Because Christ took our wrath upon himself. Huge sacrifice. You, you start studying that. Just, just the sacrifice of Christ. There's so much involved there. And, and when we do this, we do this every other Sunday. Don't open these yet. Because there's specific instructions that have to go with this. Wait, this is the COVID uh, method. <laughs> I have never been able to get one of these open, and that's why I got married. <laughs> there we go. That's one of the reasons I got married. Not just it's not the only reason. She also cooks well. <laughs> She's a wonderful woman. So, so we we celebrate the communion to remind us what Christ did for us on the cross. It's to remind us that this thing does not become the body of Christ. It doesn't. It doesn't. Jesus does not need to be crucified again. There's no unbloody sacrifice. The, 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 the juice doesn't become the blood of Christ. So if you're from that background, the reason Jesus told us to do this was to remember, and these are just symbols, if they became the actual body and blood, and we ate them, we would be arrested because that's cannibalism. <laughs> We're not eating the body of Christ. We're eating a piece of, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> but we're eating this to remind us. Jesus said, when you do this, remember my body that was given up for you and my blood that was poured out for you. Remember it. Don't actually participate in it. That's why we do this. We call this, we call this, I call it all kinds of stuff, but it, it's, it's the Lord's Supper, it's the communion, it's the Eucharist, it's the Thanksgiving, whatever you want to call it, but this is not, this is not part of a Mass. We're not doing a Mass here. Jesus died for us once and for all. Amen. And when he died... He promised that if we put our faith and trust in what he did, then our sin is taken from us completely. Completely. There's no, there is nothing we can do to earn heaven. There's nothing we can do. Jesus paid the full price. Amen. You can't be good enough. You can't do enough things. You cannot do anything to earn you eternal life. You can't do it. Jesus paid the price for us. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's a free gift. 
Yeah. So, so, well, then, 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 how come I have to do this and I have to do this? And I, you, you don't have to do anything. Now, but, 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 Pastor, you just said I have to put my faith in Jesus. Isn't that a work? No, that's the condition. That's the condition. When, when, when my grandfather gave me a quarter, say, go get your hair cut. The condition for me getting the quarter was that I was going to get my hair cut. I never did. I, I went to him. Stole the quarter. Because it was big money back then. Jesus says, if you want eternal life, you have to put your faith and your trust in me. If you're trying to be a good person, stop wasting your time. It ain't going to earn you anything. I'm not saying don't be a good person. But don't be a good person because you're trying to earn something. Because it ain't going to work. You're not a good person. None of us are good people. I thought someone was going to throw something, but they didn't know okay. yet. We're not good people because even the good things we do are like filthy rags. Even the good things we do are with the wrong motives. The only way we can have eternal life, the only way we can have joy unspeakable, the only way that we can understand love is through the cross of Jesus Christ. He gave Amen. Amen. that for us. Isn't that fantastic? Amen. So when we do this, when we do this, we eat the bread first, because that way this can wash it down. <laughs> Jesus said, this is my body. This represents my body. Take it and eat it and remember what I did for you. I gave my body for you. Drink this juice and remember that I poured out my blood for you, for each one of you. Now when you open these things, take this thing out of the top first. And then when you open the juice, open it over the floor, not over your clothes, because if it spills, I'm not paying for your laundry. Okay? Okay, go ahead, open it up. Open it up. And then and then we'll all participate in this together. Okay? So we take the bread and we take the juice and we do this together. Remember in Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's all stand together. Let's just thank God for what he's done for us.